Yeah, 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 it's about that time. Hope you tuned in as we go live. Got bad gal, Tanya, Georgie, and Skyline Black. Hold it down for the guys. Talking some real shit, grab a cup, catch a vibe. Every Sunday at 7, we getting you baptized. Giving out all these lessons or facts, no lies. Supporting the movement that caps on the rise. I got that brown, holy water wherever I go. Make sure you like, share, comment, and follow. Talk, drink, share the link. Don't forget to let us know what you think. I got that brown, holy water. Come get that brown, holy water. We got that brown, holy water. Come get that brown, holy water. I got that brown, holy water. Come get that brown, holy water. We got that brown, holy water. We got that brown. Welcome to Brown Holy Water, new edition. It's your boy Handsome Lot, more popular than American Pie. <laughs> <laughs> that, that wasn't that wasn't the money. That wasn't the money, son. That wasn't the money. Son. Working on a new intro, you know. Uh, who else you got in the building? Uh, Y'all already know what it is. Your boy Black Success. You know what I mean? About to get in my Brown Holy Water bag. I don't sell drugs. I sell swag. Snagger don't sell shit. It's <laughs> <laughs> your favorite tomboy, a.k.a. Danny, a.k.a. Georgie, whatever you want to call me, here today, this Sunday. And it's BGT, Bot Girl Tanya, everybody's favorite immigrant. I'm here. Don't yeah. hate. Next week, nah, next week, we just got to work on that again, man. <laughs> I'm coming for the best uh, intro. I got to come out. You got a good intro, send it to me, all right? I was about to get lit. I can't let black have everything, man. But uh, let's go. We're going to jump right into these topics. Let's get it going. Brown Holy Waters in the building, and we already drunk, as you can see. <laughs> we was pre-gaming at a dope restaurant. Shout out to the restaurant. What is the restaurant called? El Jefe. El Jefe El Restaurant. Jefe. It's Shout on 1483 them. Fulton Avenue. My homegirl Oni owns it. It's official. She come from the street. She come from the peas, just like us, Coney Island. Go but, show love, you know show I mean? support. Started up a business. Fuck with it. Black Mexican restaurant. We taking over everything. We <laughs> want in. <laughs> but let's get to the topics. The first topic at hand, we're going to talk about manhood. Uh, manhood. You know, because I just feel like manhood needs to be addressed because people always say, what is a real man? And this is not a manly thing to do. And this all types of weird, like funny shit that women, especially women, <laughs> say that a, a brother is not being a man things of his character is not being of a man so we're going to first come to the let's get a, a definition of how we feel what a true man is so first Paul what is your definition of a real man and good men and are they one of the same I got dibs on last oh, wow time <laughs> <laughs> Oh, let's go. <laughs> Who wants to start it off? Well, um, I think I should start it off. Okay, with that real man, black yeah, success. Yeah, yeah, Be the yeah, best yeah. you. <laughs> Got the Barry White voice. I mean, <laughs> I mean, a first, real first. No, yeah. so gotcha. Let's gotcha. go with yeah. What is a real man? What is Before a real man? Before we get to a good man, let's gotcha. go to a real man. Let's find out they're the same shit. Got you. A real man is someone that is independent. Mm -hmm. uh, takes responsibility for his actions and is uh, <laughs> not black success and is a, a, a father you know to his kids if he have any absolutely you know uh, a protector of his family if he has one you know uh that to me are characteristics of a real man. I think people might have other bullet points that they want to add on, <laughs> but those are the must-haves if you want to call yourself a real man. I think too many times, or too too often, we we identify a real man with materialistic things or Your certain finances. things like mm -hmm. like finances or having a house or having a car or how much he spends on you or where he takes you, and we let that identify whether or not he's a real man too often women 
want to, you know, I feel like they use it as like as like a nitpicking thing where they want to poke your little bubble and make you feel feel bad and be like, oh, you're not a real man. And um, somehow the definition got dissolved in this whole little this whole little gumbo soup where everyone is just trying to uh, create their own definition of what a man is. Okay, okay. And when you <laughs> ask about a good man, that's 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 the difference. Yeah. So yeah. you could be a real man and just not a good man. Yeah, you could you could be a bad you could be a bad dude. You could be you could, you be, could a be a man. You could be a man. You 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 holding it down. You are doing your but you're not doing right. Maybe I have you to agree with that. maybe you're maybe you're punishing your kids because you still want to be with the baby moms, but she moved on and. But that's not real man shit though. It, well, well, time go. out. That's emotions. How was how was it not real man shit? Real, real men are emotional. So you can't, you can't, you can't. Real men are. Emotional. Wait, wait, wait. Well, real wait, men you, have emotions too. You just said about responsibility. So you got kids. Even if you don't like baby moms, you still need to take care of the kids. Facts, facts. But sometimes they will give her a harder time. Now he's less cooperative. You know what I mean? He's giving her a harder. He's giving her friction on purpose. That happens because baby moms do it. The Baby daddies all the time, and it could reverse. Is she is she now not a not a not a good mom? No, it just it, it have that's a part of a relationship sometimes. Danny, Daniel, damn Daniel, Daniel, damn Daniel. Um, I agree with Black. I think, I mean, I hate the term real man, but I mean, um, that's what most women use. I know. I don't, man. but um, I would say a real man is somebody who takes care of their responsibilities, takes care of their children, do their part in society and in life. I do a, um, I do think that there's a difference between a real man and a good man because you can handle your responsibility. You could take care of your household and everything and still cheat. I don't think that's a good man, but you can still be a responsible real man, but you might not be a good man. You so might, I, why, you might why have, would a cheater not be a good man? Because at the end of the day, just saying you're married, just as an example, you're married, you take care of your household, you hold your household down. You're a real man. Like you do what you got to do, but you're not, you're not, you're not respecting those vows. So if you're not respecting those vows, how are you a good man when you vow to, for better, for worse, to, to love this person and to, to, to be faithful to this person and everything, but then you're not doing your job as a husband? Gotcha. That's not a good man, gotcha. but that's a real man because you, gotcha. your kids are taken care of. Gotcha. Your wife is taken care of. The whole household is taken care of, but you're, you're doing, not doing what you're supposed you're, to you're do You're doing as real a man shit, shit, but you're not doing good man yes, shit there you to go. coincide with it. Exactly. Gotcha. <laughs> <laughs> it's like me and Danny had our own show just now. It's just, it's just like... Yo, hold on. <laughs> so hold on. Basically, a real man for the from the both of y'all is just come down to responsibility, right? It, oh, it, responsi- it come down to responsibility, right? <laughs> right? Yeah. Ma- basically, basically, well, what we're saying a is real a real man can still live with his mom. A real man, yeah, could, could definitely. Do, he doesn't definitely. have to have a car. Okay, he but, doesn't. But but he do need a job. He need to be working. You do need a job. Okay. <laughs> My definition of a real man, like you said, is definitely about responsibility, owning your actions, and everything that goes on. Um, providing, uh, being a provider, a protector. That's when I get to a, like a real man. And the aspects like I can't say like about a good man. How could I describe it? But I'll just like describe me because I feel like I'm such a good man. You know what I'm saying? Ah, like Lord you in tune with your emotions. <laughs> you got a good communication into? ability. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> um, <laughs> you just said you was um, hardboard so communication. I said I was one of my traits and I worked on that. Okay, like, when I was, In my younger days. You know what I'm oh. saying? In my younger days. Mm-hmm. Like the Bible verse. Mm-hmm. I put my toys down I and now you. I'm a man. I you know what I'm saying? I hear you. I hear yeah. you. Yeah. Yeah. Corinthians 6.24. <laughs> <laughs> So, you know, like I said, the good man aspect is just that you try to be the overall rounding to your partner. If you're a good man, like, you got to complete your partner. Anything she might lack, you have to throw yourself and be better in that you aspect. You know what You got to balance her. You have to be the best you. This is my quote. <laughs> Yo, he blatantly steals up. You have to be the, the, the best you. 
Like, and be the best you for her. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Or him, yeah. because we don't yeah. discriminate in brown holy water. You can be <laughs> gay and, you know, be the best you for him. Like, yeah. fuck it. You just have to be complete your partner. It's about communication. as in a good man aspect. Communication. Um, mainly communication. Responsibility. And balance. And providing and balance. It's like... Because uh, you got to know your partner's weaknesses. Facts. Y'all got to be on the seesaw and one person can't be too fat and the other person can't be too skinny. <laughs> y'all got to be too... Either y'all fat together and that shit is just boom. You know what I'm saying? In the middle. It's going to stay in the middle. Or y'all skinny together. Or y'all eat healthy together. Y'all be there. Whatever you feed the partner, you gotta feed yourself so y'all can be balanced and y'all can be the best y'all together. <laughs> okay? I am La Success. Today, he just went on the trip on a is crazy, but I do agree with everything La said. You have to, you know, just say my quote. Ju- just, you know, you gotta be the best. You. <laughs> But yeah, yeah, like like balance, balance is a balance is a real big thing. You know, you gotta know, you gotta know each other' flaws to mm-hmm. know what to do and not to do. You can't both be hot headed. Like you gotta know when not to. All right, I'm gonna just shut up because I know if I go high, she's gonna keep screaming. You know, you gotta know each other. You and I, I think when you don't think about balancing, when you're just trying to be right or trying to win the argument, you're gonna lose as a couple in the long run. And I always tell. people, People, you know, very often, you got to take the Kool Aid with the orange juice. You understand? Know some things are gonna be unhealthy. Some things are gonna be healthy. And you gotta know when to wait, sip what. Wait, wait, wait. This gotta wait. do with the real man. Like, no, no, no. This no, no. Sometimes you take the Kool Aid with the orange juice. That shit don't even go together. Yeah, I'm, saying, I'm saying you got you got you got two different cups. You know, you got Kool Aid, you got orange juice. No, one is sugary. One is one is one is freshly it. squeezed. No, I don't get it. You know what I mean? You like, don't, don't, don't let that go. Don't let that go. Good juice, but I don't know. But you gotta call them out. Bullshit. Sometimes you gotta take the Kool-Aid that with the fire. orange juice. That was a fire juice now. Sometimes you gotta take the pickles with the cucumbers. Same shit. Stop fixing shit. Go ahead, bad girl. Get into it. What is a real man to you? And if are There's real a man place. and a good man the same or different? Let me di- handle this, bro. Different. I'm giving you the question again. Handle Fuck this, bro. Okay. <laughs> Uh, by my definition, um, I believe a real man is a man who takes ownership for every single thing he does. Ownership as in ownership for your life, for your career, for your family, for your children, for your mistakes, for your trials, and for your triumphs. A lot of people only want to take ownership when they succeed, but they never want to take ownership when they fail. They don't want to take ownership when they do something wrong. They don't want to take ownership um, when they shortchange something. And real men understand that they have weaknesses. Every man has a weakness. Um, a real man doesn't run from that. And just that being said, um, it's like... When you compare a real man to a good man, um, a good man can be a real man, but good men don't give in to their vices, don't give in to their weaknesses, don't get tempted by flesh and follow through. They can see a skirt pass, but know they're they're married and they went before God and their entire family and vowed their lives to somebody. And a good man is going to be like, I value my wife and my family and it's in my sanctuary. I'll let that go. <clears throat> that's a good man for me. A good man is somebody who doesn't give in to their vices. Somebody who is going to see something bad and be able, be strong enough to say, I'm not going to put myself in that position. So for me, a real man is somebody who takes ownership. A good man is a man who doesn't give in to his vices. I hear you, Tanya. <clears throat> that's, that's interesting. That was a, a good man point. doesn't give in to his vices. Don't don't sometimes good men make mistakes? Is that the end of the day? You see, but human? he's a real man because he's gonna own his mistake. Mm. So a good man and real and, and a a good man and a real man is in one, right? Yes, they're Basically. one and the same, but they're still not the same at the same time. I said same a lot, but um, <laughs> I got you. I got you. I give you got it. Saying. You follow, right? But I mean, good men make mistakes and. That doesn't completely remove your good title, but you, for you to continue being a real man, you have to own your mistake. A lot of people do bad shit and get in positions where they've done bad shit and blame everybody else but them fucking selves. 
It's your fault I cheated. You wasn't ironing my shirt. You wasn't giving me certain things in sex. You wasn't doing this. It's your fault. I fucked that bitch. My nigga, you had to pull your pants down. You got your dick up. You took the condom out. Please, I hope you took the condom out. You took the condom. You did it yourself. Took you- what out? You shut the fuck up, son. But I mean, like, you did all of that. Your wife didn't stand over you and say, hey, take your dick out. Put it in that bitch. Like, you can't blame your wife for the stuff you make. You, you, I mean, you could feel certain ways. Certain things could make you internally feel as what you want to do, but you do it on your own. So you can't blame that. A good, uh, a real man would not blame his wife for his shortcomings. Like, I fucked up. I was weak. I, I gave into flesh. I'm a real man to admit that. A good man just wouldn't give into his vices. Okay, so what do you feel most men lack in today's society? And the real man, good man argument. What do you feel that most men lack? Um, that lack, like, yeah. In, yeah, fuck it. in, yeah. in my experience, I find, especially in this day and time, like, people want to play to perfection so bad. Everyone wants the 100000 salary. Everyone wants the 800 credit score. Everybody wants to have their own place and their own car and their own this. Like, there's the, the level of perfection is so high, you know, but... We all know that everyone has a lot of flaws with them, and a lot of and some of these flaws are fixable. And a lot of people don't have, especially men, being traditionally leaders or not traditionally leaders, whatever it is, or trying to compete to be alphas in this day and time. They lack the ability to say, "I need help." And a lot of men could be better fathers. A lot of men could be better brothers. A lot of men could be better friends. A lot of men could be more successful if they admitted that they needed help when they do need help. They wait. They they. they it's like a. It's a pride thing. I, think, I mean, a pride. I think, a pride. A pride is a deadly sin. I but I found about. in my in my uh, experience that a lot of men don't ask for help when they need it. And a so real man, said, like I said, <clears throat> takes responsibility. If you real and you know you fail, you know. Yo, I need to get a fucking job. Don't act like you're okay. Like, let your friend know. Like, listen, like, nigga, I'm well, in a I fucked up position I, right now. Well, what you're, what, you're, what you're saying sounds good. But, but the truth is that most men don't ask because after they ask, then most women throw it back in their fucking face. And, and that's the problem. See, what, when Lodges asks, what do you think most men are lacking? And to be honest, most lacking men... Lacking from being, like, a good man. For lacking from from I being a really. good a good man, and let me let me get to that. Yeah. Most men are lacking a good cry, and I don't mean physically. I don't mean tears coming down you his face. Cry but so. but yeah, that that too. But but it's many ways to cry. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. most men are lacking a good cry, a good release, because most of the time you can release the smallest thing, and a chick throw it in your face every other day. But why are you blaming like, chicks though? Like the, it could I'm be. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. But period. that's you not being a real man because now you blaming it on chicks like. How? I mean, you, you how, how are you not being a real man? How could you, you not be a real man because I'm, you're blaming it on on the person that's throwing it back in your face? Yeah, but you talking about one type of woman. woman. You're saying I agree you're with saying you you're saying people. if a man need help, he need to ask. Okay. Why would he ask somebody that's gonna throw it back in his face? You could ask your He's friend. holding it in. You could ask He's your holding in all his tears. No, forget all that. No, if I got if I got a shorty, I'm not bringing up everybody else. Hold on, I got a shorty, and this is what I'm saying. We need we men need a good cry. We need to find someone. That we can release to and and know it's it's not coming and that back. That comes with trust, though. And yeah, that and they, and it come with trust. And trust. And, but but this, but this is what I'm saying. That's why a lot of, a lot of people don't know how to love. That's true. Because that's the Men that information is not supposed to get used. Yeah, it, it, it's <laughs> not supposed to be used. Yeah, it's not supposed to be used single. to hurt no. <laughs> that that's not supposed to be used to hurt nobody. Understand. You understand? But it goes both ways too. Because I hear you. Like a, a a good man is looking for somebody to. Like to basically, they want to get certain things out. They want to trust somebody where they can let their guard down. Women feel the same exact way. Yeah, Women but y'all do. But y'all do. Because guys do. throw stuff in your Women face. Women release as well. all freaking day to men, and men and don't. And men don't. Men don't. Men don't ever. Men don't. Men don't. Men don't. Men don't throw that around. Supportive, but they're not always supportive of women because it's just and a that's woman. A flaw. Just and that's doing a flaw. This, and that's okay. Doing that. she, and, this is what and that's women normally do. They're emotional. And that's a flaw. But what I'm saying is this: a woman could go to a guy. And said, babe, I need 10000 for whatever. Whether it's a business, family, personal, whatever. Cool. Whatever. He'll give her that 10000 She'll never hear about him speaking about that 10000 in any argument. Now, same scenario. A guy go to a girl and say, babe, I need $10,000. 
I don't care what it was for. Ten thousand dollars. She is gonna throw that money in his face every freaking argument. Always, most of the time. The most of the time. I'm not, not, men not who do that. I, girl. I'm not I saying every. I didn't that. say every. But you and I both know. Most of the time, she's throwing that back in his face. <laughs> Just like you can't, you can't even tell. Man, listen, I don't even want to go in. Like that. <laughs> yeah, but All it right. depends on the type of woman you do it. I mean, we kind of going off topic here, but it still also depends on the type of woman you do. because there are a lot of good. There are a lot of good women left. There are. <laughs> <laughs> that was good. That was good. Like, yeah, you two for two, so you two for two, so. <laughs> Hey, hit me with the doggy. Hit me with the doggy. Hit me with the doggy. <laughs> I think. Um, I think what men are lacking is authenticity. <laughs> I think <laughs> why are you laughing? Authenticity. Yes, I think a lot of guys is out here fronting and they want to prove something to the wrong people. I think that a lot of men they're trying to prove so much to their friends instead of to their woman. That's just my personal opinion. I feel like you got a lot of them trying to trying to. Shouldn't you Tom, no, not hold, be proven? Wait, wait, wait. Let, let me. Because I ain't too much. Leah, like Leah, like. <clears throat> Shouldn't you be trying to prove? To yourself instead of to your you woman. You should be. Because proving stuff to your woman could ultimately fuck you over at the end, too. And this you gotta is know true. thyself in order but to make somebody a lot else happy. Of men, correct? A, but it still goes back but to wait. authenticity. Yeah, knowing it still thyself. Goes back. You said okay, knowing for the, thyself. Yeah, you said yes. for the woman. No, I you said know. a lot of guys are trying to prove something to their their friends. That's what I said. To Instead their of to, and the woman. Yeah, but we're talking. I mean, yes, you're supposed to prove stuff to yourself because you're. You're you. So at the end of the day, you have to be true to yourself. You have to be true and to you. You have to, to be true to you, but... First. Okay. That's what I'm saying. Uh, yeah, right. I hear you. I hear you. I'm going to be nice so you because your friends is watching. Oh, gosh. Here we go. I not going to do that. I want to say something based on what what, what you said. Mm-hmm. You, you, you started off saying men should... Uh, damn, what did you just say? I said... Authenticity, and I said a lot of men try to prove. Wait, that they're you said front. you they're said front. a lot of dudes whoa, whoa, are fronting. Whoa, whoa. But again. my thing is this: Why are they fronting? Because I'll be honest with you: People buy in more when you lie to them. Mm-hmm. People buy in more when you say something. When you but say why some are you real shit, about other people instead no, but, of yourself. But what? But, right? but, what I, but what I'm saying: Men, men still have a goal. Men are still trying to sleep with women. They trying to date. They trying to. So if you buying the if if you're buying more stock in lies than the truth, what the fuck am I gonna sell you? Okay, but then when you get into that Damn, situation, that was good. Stop but then lying. when you get into that situation, Never stop lying. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's a good shirt. That's a good shirt. Never stop. But then when you get into a situation, the truth is gonna come out regardless, and that woman or whoever or whoever you're with, they're gonna see that you're fronting. Like all of this was most a people are fronting. Most people are fronting. Right women, then. women too. Women yeah, swear. Right. Women swear they only slept with three dudes. Women swear that they <laughs> that they so loyal and faithful and cooking clean. Everyone lying. Everyone is lying. Everybody Contrary to Stop popular lying. belief, these ears right here, this motherfucker started it. And now he, he, put, he put the virus out there. Stop Everyone lying, lying, son. Stop, Stop lying, lying, everybody. Just I want to start this with Danny before we, uh, before we leave this topic. Do you feel... Oh, shit. <clears throat> do you feel women overlook good men in today's society? And why? Dibs on last. I do. How many, I how don't, many good... Yo, but you, I do. I'm going to start off with you because you said... You know, because I, I got a good memory sometimes. But you said that like, your friend zone mommy, right? Uh-huh. So how many good men you think you got in the friend zone that's trying to get a great opportunity with you to build something with you, but you put them to the friend zone because you're trying to deal with Pookie? Um, mm. So... First of all, people don't get put in the friend zone because I'm trying to deal with Pookie. People get put in the friend zone because that vibe is just not fair and that's automatic because mm. I don't just go into a situation and be like, oh my God, I'm attracted to them. I want to be with them. So you get put in the friend zone because they're my, the way my priorities are set up, there are certain things before a relationship. So with that being said, if you, if like I said last show, prove to me that you're worth being out the friend zone because my time is very precious to me. So you could come out of the friend zone if you're in it. That's what you're saying. Yeah, you could come out of the so friend every zone. Every nigga goes to the friend zone and then you just Every work. nigga can't be taken fight. out of the friend you zone. Fight you don't have to Coliseum. fight. You don't have to fight. It's just you have to get my attention. If you can get my attention, that is a great plus. If you can keep my attention, that is amazing because then I pay attention to you if you can keep my attention because I like I have a lot of things that I'm doing. So, and like I said, my time is precious. So if you can keep my attention, that is amazing. Like, then I pay attention to you because I've noticed that, okay, 
this person is actually like we're connecting in a certain type of I way or something like, like that. Women overlook good men, like men that might be great for them because they like the challenge. They like to try to change somebody that looks like could like they couldn't be changed to what mean. they <laughs> want them to be. Yeah, that makes sense. Women do that, that makes sense. A lot of women That's do why that. Women that makes like sense. Like bad boys instead of That's like That's the ego thing the, too. Yeah, it's, it's it's definitely an ego thing I don't like. Really if, like bad boys. Yeah, though. women always act like they don't want the guy that a lot of the girls want. They do I, want that guy. I don't care what they say. They want that's that true. guy. That's true. That's true. They, they want like to conquer. I don't they want do the like guy the that, that a lot like of guys around. want. But if I'm he catches you. my attention, he catches my attention. But true. I don't he want the guy. He's going to catch your attention because every other, he caught every other girl attention. Mm-hmm. The nerd dude ain't going to catch your attention because he don't catch nobody's that's attention. That's not true. Because no, I like quiet truth, guys, the, so you can't say that. The truth is that those guys, these good guys do get a chance. I don't want y'all to feel like good guys finish last, although they, they, they do. Don't. Good guys finish last. Although they do. I don't think they Because do. I'm going to tell you why. Because a chick, would, right now, my a chick is... would blame it on experience in life when she messes with all the assholes. And then Facts. wait till she wash, done, finish, and then now on her last leg, her last three days of being, of her little body being there, her little <laughs> butt you know lean, hold on, and then all of a sudden, now she want a good but dude but, that's gonna come straight home but, and rub her little crusty what? feet and shit. The good guy's still gonna take her. The asshole's not gonna take and her he's he a at the end fool. of the road. He's, no, he's a not the fool. fool. He's the good guy. He was the guy that was willing to be there from the beginning. Right. Yeah, that's he's still that's there true. At the And she end. said, "You know that's what? True. He's that's not why, going anywhere." That's why good guys finish last. And true. she at said, the end, "They still going to be good. They're still going to be that guy." She said, "Take them." That's she said, "She said not. he's not going anywhere. Let me go. Let me go play some more. Yes. Let, let me go play some more. Let me cook on the Let me bring some more baggage. Let me cook this grits and bacon on the front pile. Then when I'm done, I'm gonna stir this grits at the end. That's it. And they come back." And then go get the grits at the mm-hmm. end, man. Go get the and bring all the baggage. Yeah, they put sugar I, in it. Can I just say and so, something? And the sugar's Tanya, bad. I see you. Grits. Hold on. Tanya um, and talk. T- all right. Tanya and talk. I said, Tanya, I see you. I acknowledge Tanya. Now look. Tanya and talk. <laughs> <laughs> all right, listen. Just because you're a good guy doesn't mean that you're a good guy for me. Oh. Ooh, Daniel! Boys, the king of That's it. 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 That you know what I mean? It might just play out the way, like, oh my God, he's a great guy, but Damn. we just might not click like that. But you that. gotta sacrifice. That's what sacrificing but then is. How are you, you happy? Might, you but might have a gut. But how are you happy? She won. She won. All right, fuck that. I'll give it to you. Just because you got that. Everything doesn't mean that you can make me happy. Yo, you know that, what I mean? She won. That was good. That, that was, was good. good. I can't fight. I'm not talking. <laughs> Yo, she won. Oh, she's not talking to the rest of the show. She's not talking to the rest of the show. She said peace. I'm not talking to the rest of the show. I was supposed to come after that shit. Like. That was good. That was too good. That was, that was too good. good. I even <laughs> did he try to get a different seat next week? <laughs> <laughs> he tried to sit over here. Nigga, the fuck was about You see this bullshit? Go ahead, Tanya. You I got bullshit? you. Go ahead, Tanya. <laughs> well, damn. All right. So uh, I see it every day. A lot of women uh, overlook good guys every single fucking day. And I say that. And I'm coming from the place of after a certain age and stage in your life, people start stop looking at men for who they are and stop start looking at men for what they have. And a lot of people are looking for relationships, they're looking for business transactions. They're looking for salary, career, education. Um, all the things that in black and white make this person seemingly not going to be a burden for her. And that's what they see first. And I'm going to give my personal example. is going to be with the person I am with now. From the outside looking in, I know a lot of people bypass him and looks over him. Um, he doesn't fit that mold, that, that ideal mold that some people could listen. He ain't got a master's degree in some shit. He don't work at a Fortune 500 company. He probably don't make six figures. He doesn't make six figures a year at this point in time. But I saw he was good because of how he treated his mom. And a man like that has values and morals that I know can carry over to a woman. Now, six, six and a half months into relationship, the person he is with me and the person he is towards me, a lot of people are like, yo, you got a good man. I said, well, if I was 
looking at him as a business transaction, I would have never been with him. And that's the truth. If I was looking at him for all the things that society has set as the standard to have a man and what a good man is and what a real man is, I would have never had the boyfriend I have today. But I didn't. I looked at him from the perspective of I want a relationship, I want somebody who's going to balance me out or whatever, and I end up having a good man off of that because why? I wasn't looking for business. I wasn't. Mm, okay. That was a good um, <clears throat> end to the manhood topic. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> We're going to jump into this next topic. We're going to talk about insecurities, y'all. You know, we all got them. We all hide them. Everybody has them. We're going to chop it up about it, man. You know, even me, I'm an insecure nigga, man. <laughs> You look at this face, you look at the smile, you be like, that nigga ain't insecure. I cry in the dark. <laughs> Fuck <laughs> you I can't wear him today. Sometimes. What you do to him? No, Black, sometimes what you do to like, him? I sit on my hand, right? I wait till it go numb and I cry. And then my hand get numb and I use my tears to jerk off. Right? What? <laughs> Yo, who got who gotta speak first, my nigga? Like, who gotta speak first? Yeah. I can't wear Yo, him today. who gotta speak first? Yo, but hold on. Alright, let's talk about insecurities though. <laughs> Now, is we gonna, this roll. is like Hold another, butter, this is like another roll. personal topic. We don't talk, we don't touch about this. Name something that you're insecure about. I'll, t- I'll start it off then. Fuck it. I'm gonna be real. I'm really, really insecure like about my weight. I look at myself every day. I swear to God, I feel like I'm a fat boy. There's nothing. Every time I look in the mirror, I feel like I'm like Professor Clump. This shit is weird. I'm like fake bulimic on the low. So you're insecure about your weight and not your ears? No. <laughs> that's crazy. Hey, because I know I can't change my ears. You got my ears you. is big. You got you. I could change my weight. Sometimes I could feel like I could be a look better and be a better person if I try hard and lose weight. Then I see you're the Hennessy sad, bottle though. and I want to drink. <laughs> and then I see the double whopper with cheese and then you could add bacon for seven, six, seven. <laughs> I can't look you know what I'm saying? Oh, I want to go get me a nice turkey burger. So I, I get be guilty and then I might just do some crazy shit like I want to take a last or throw up. So I'm very insecure about my weight. You don't, might not believe it or not, but a lot of people know me. Like, it's, it's crazy. I'm, like, fake bulimic on the low. And, yeah, that's my insecurities. Like, if you call me fat, I might just really go home and cry. Like, so give me a hug if you call me fat. Asshole. <laughs> I agree. But, um... Fuck. Me, cause y'all, y'all. Go ahead. Now nah, you was talking like, a lot. You was talking a lot today. <laughs> I, was a lot. I was quiet. The fuck? I can tell you insecurities you right now. Don't she, tell her insecurities. Let her talk before you talk yeah. to her. Why are you about to tell her insecurities? Why are you been this far? No. Tell yours too. Shut up. <laughs> Shut up. First of all, you're going to Let me go first because the girls are going to no, be no, different. No. Girls are going to be different. Tanya insecure about her eyebrows. Them shits is fading away. <laughs> <laughs> Dave insecure. <laughs> oh, we letting the shots out today. He letting the shots the fuck out. We letting the shots out. All right, about. you go. Okay. Out of here. I'm for a long, for a very, 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 very long time. I was insecure about my weight also, but I'm the flip of you. Um, for a long time, it bothered me being skinny. Um, maybe it's because I have Caribbean genes. Um, and we have this ideal that uh, the more weight you have, the healthier you are, the better you live in. And then also like, just in my head, like the the image that I like as a woman, I like I like I personally think women with meat on them are so attractive. Like, no shade to skinny girls. Like, skinny girls be killing shit. And when I was extremely, extremely skinny, I was still, I still have my confidence and stuff. But it still bothered me that I have a certain weight because I like the, I think an ideal woman has a certain amount of meat. Not fat, not skinny, but just in the middle. Like, fat in the right places. And because I never had that body, I was like, damn, I'll probably never fill out like that. And, like, now that I have a little bit more weight on me, I mean, my body isn't perfect. I still got a, a little gut. I got a foop and whatever. But I love my body now mm. because I have weight on me. I have I have more meat than I had when I was younger. I personally think I look way better now um, than what I was. Like, if when I started losing weight, I started to feel like, well, I'm getting too skinny. But I'm pretty sure people would see me be like, bitch, ain't nothing wrong with you. But that's how insecurities work. It's just how we see ourselves. As a fact, it's how your mental image yep. of yourself. Is. It's how we see ourselves. So um, I'm so depressed. You fucking <laughs> dick. <laughs> Can I go? Yeah. What are you insecure about? Um, I mean, I've always been insecure about my weight, but y'all all got that. So yes. I'm really insecure about my boobies because I don't really have you got big man boobies. boobies. Yeah, it's just depressing. <laughs> 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 Yo, 
Yo, that thing is crazy. I don't even give a fuck. Oh, well, well. Because at the end of the day, look, this is how I feel. Like I, I've, I've, I've been insecure about my little titties. I, I'm, I'm gonna buy me some titties. You know, titties, some so men love little titties. But like, and and that's fine. That's fine. That's fine. But that's like you said, it's not about how other people feel about right. you. It's about how you feel about yourself. Right. But I can say this: as much as I'm insecure about my boobies and about how thin I am, because team thickness is coming soon. I'm just letting y'all know. I'm mm-hmm. eating thick, all right? But she as, beef patties and cocoa bread, I'm eating a lot. Jellies, uh, Milkshakes, chocolate squat. shakes. Go squat. I do squat. Chill. Let me have my moment. Chill. Yeah. But as much as as much as I I do feel away about my body, I always challenge myself to feel better about my body. Cause at the end of the day, look, God gave me this. I have whatever I have at the end of the Only day. Only white men like I big titties. I can't stop cutting me off. I'm telling you, white men like big titties. Stop cutting me off. Stop cutting me off. Jesus but Christ. as much as I I feel a way about my body, I, I continuously challenge myself to feel better about it because it's nothing that I could do about that right now. And you either take it or you leave it. You're going to love me for me or you're not going to love me for me. Whoever's for me will be for me. So you're going to love me regardless, little titties and all. So as much as, like I said, I feel a way about my body, I work every day towards building myself up and feeling better about myself and my body. And you take it or leave it. It's because you was a time where you wore a lot of sports bras. So it managed your I used to have titties. titties. <laughs> no, you that's not even what it is. I used to have nah, nice titties. I did. I did, first of all. But it, it's not no even about that. Superwoman. I have two kids. Like, with that, your body changes. Like, they sucked I used your titties to have, dry? Yes, they did. You breastfeed? I breastfed it? for a whole year. That's why your kids so skinny, huh? My oh kids are skinny, though. <laughs> Don't come for my kids. I fight for my kids, motherfucker. Crazy, son. Black, you big head bitch. Yeah, I got big ass. Huh? Nah, I don't um, even know but, your, um, your. But the shit, is, the shit is so crazy, and you know, don't, I hate when people ask a question and someone want to be one. like, come back to me. Come politically back to me. correct type of shit. So like, and I'm not trying to be politically correct. You know what I mean? But growing up the way I grew up, you know, going to school and you know. We had it hard, you know. My mom had eleven kids, you know. Motherfuckers, was, we we sharing clothes, sneakers, everything. It's just too too much of us for everybody had their own shit. So it's like growing up like that, you kind of you kind of gotta design a different a different way of thinking because insecurities really come from what you think is standard or beauty or yep. what, what whatever Facts. and whatever picture they painted for you that's what you think you're supposed to be like so that's what you're comparing yourself to and that's how i feel like people people feel so i, I kind of never really had i never really pictured anything to compare myself to so i never really had those like Insecurity issues or whatever like like that. You know what I mean? To be honest, you know what I mean. This nigga's it's lying. some nah. It, like it's some stuff you you wish you like had or did. You know what I mean? But you just can't. Everybody not supposed to dunk a basketball. Everybody not supposed to. You know what I mean? You are kind of short. I, I mean, I'm okay with being short. You know what I mean? Because the richest place, the richest place in the world is the funeral home. Because mm-hmm. a lot of people die with all their with, with all their talent. I'm living mine. That's right. I am black. I am black. Like that. That's right. Black. <laughs> How you knew that was coming? <laughs> Tanya got one more. She will talk about her insecurity. insecurity. Game. Uh, well, it's a past insecurity, but it was a real one for a very, very long time. My second insecurity was my skin tone. My second insecurity was being dark skin, and for a long time, and if you dark skin, you know the struggle we have. We're gonna get to that show. Skin. But I'm saying, but that was one of mine because of like black said the standard that was set, and I mean. Back in the day, like people call me certain names and whatever, and I felt bad about being dark. So I wanted to be light. I did the dumb. I tried bleaching for like two days in my life. You did? No. Two, da- two days. But like that's how bad it was. It was the point where I wanted to change. You I didn't want to. I wanted to. I walked around with umbrellas be because I had. Listen to me, like because it was this. It was a standard that was set by society for a long time. Mm-hmm. I thought being dark skin is like being dark skin was synonymous for a long time with just being automatically ugly. Once you were dark, you automatically ugly. You weren't getting chosen for us to have boyfriends. A lot of shit came with being dark skin. I know we can address that another time. But mm-hmm. for a long time, I had insecurity. Now, I'm like, I look at myself in the mirror, I was like, do you see all this chocolatey goodness now? I am, I came to America, you know, guy and guy, and I got that tropical ass sun. So I was black as shit when I came here. Now my color raised a little bit because it's a temperate climate. And I look at myself in my pictures and I'll be like, yo, why am I not darker? I take pictures with my boyfriend. He's darker than me. And I'll be mad as shit. I'm like, why the fuck 
you darker than me, my nigga. I want to be your, your damn complexion. <laughs> I want to be that dark. Burnt so cookie. I want to be a burnt cookie. Like I, <laughs> but <laughs> but that's where it came from. For a long time, I know a lot of people who are dark skin have this same struggle. Like I, my skin tone really was a problem for a long time. To me, I didn't think my skin was what was attractive. Now, whole different <clears throat> conversation. I'm just so you know, chocolate rules. Mm. Y'all said it. <laughs> okay. What kind of insecurities that men and women like have that they try to mask, like as a whole? Like, what do you think men and women out here pump faking about? I know black guys. Their penis shit size. About. <laughs> no, I'm just <laughs> men don't feel bad about your penis size. <laughs> nothing you can do. Yeah, there's about. nothing you can do. Well, it is something you can do now. I had a show. It is. It is surgery you can do now. We're not doing surgery. <laughs> but, but God, Jesus gave you that tool. Yeah, Use it, it as is. It is as what you it is. Can. But but you, you, black. Go you got it. Niggas be insecure about yeah, you got it. You got to understand. People be insecure about many things. It could be their height, their body size. Men. We don't talk about men. men. All right, yeah. men. Let's talk about men. Men, it could be many things. You know, money. Men, men want to be. You got to understand. Certain men imagine liking a girl who likes someone else, which is usually the the case. So now you become within a way, you know. Comparison. Yeah, you 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 you're so locked in on dude. That that's who you fake want to be now. So now you you want to go to the gym to get his type of body. You want to dress up to look like him type of shit. And that's where insecurities come in at. Because that's what you believe you're supposed to be in order to get what you're trying to get. But that's also, that's also kryptonite. That's your kryptonite. If you allow that to get to you mentally. Because the, you can never top that. You can never really reach it. Mm-hmm. You can never insecurities is the freaking devil because you can never really beat it. If you think there's something that you're supposed to have or look like or you know move like, you're you're never gonna get there, and you're never gonna be happy because it's not you. You gotta just love you, and when you love you, energy transfers. Everybody else is gonna see how you feel about you, mm-hmm. and they're gonna, re- yep. they're gonna they're gonna respect, respect it. it. That's, yep. a fact. Hey. Yep. That's that's right. I hear you, black. So, um, <laughs> on the women aspect, what do you think most women are insecure about in the general? No, I say mostly about your hair, but that's uh-huh. just me speaking on women. But yeah, nah, I can't agree with that because I've always messed with my hair. It's it's been long, it's general. been short. Um, he's right though. In general, but I yeah. love. I don't know, Tanya. Go ahead. Come I think like a woman's biggest insecurity is just being the center of attention. So whatever it is about her, because we, we're not all built the same. So whatever it is about her that she thinks is not going to get her noticed, she's she's usually insecure about. And it could be either, oh, my hair is not long enough, my hair is not curly enough, my eyebrows not fleeked enough, my cheekbones not high enough, my titties not perky enough, my ass not big enough. Whatever she thinks is the one thing that's getting other people attention that she lacks is what she's definitely going to be insecure about. That's why all the chicks are sitting on sinks now, like, in their drawers. They right? sitting on sinks. I mean, I'm a skinny, I was a skinny bitch for a long time. I got the skinny bitch photo photo swindle. Like, I can tell you all the positions, get you a big booty, yeah, I yeah, get yeah. you a, I, I, I can give you Tanya that. Tanya was a crackhead two years I ago. I can fuck out of here. Straight I can give rehab. you all of that shit. Because it's real, like, you, because you try to not fit, like, black set. Again, the standard, the standard is, this is what gets attention. How far am I away from the standard? Attention so, is an insecurity too. It attention is. Itself. It is. A lot of people, listen, I don't care what nobody says. That's where a lot of females bump bump heads and start hating each other. They be mad that you get more likes. They like, they have that same outfit on. In general, in general, attention is all of our insecurities. Whether we want it or we don't want it, because it can go both ways. But attention is all of our insecurities. I've had people, you know, I heard conversations, people talking about me and my social media, and they're mad I get a certain amount of attention. They're like, oh, she don't look a certain way, she's not that pretty, her body not that banging. I don't even go out there and promote my body and my and my face. Like I have a personality gap where they can't see that because they're thinking, all right, well, I got a better body than her. I should get more attention to her. You understand? So uh, attention is all of our killers. I don't care what nobody said. I don't care how humble you are. Everybody wants attention in some way, shape, or form. It doesn't have to be from the world, but it could be from your partner. Right. You do stuff to get attention from your partner. You do stuff to get attention from even your kids or your, or, or your immediate circle. But don't tell me you don't want no form of attention. We all want to feel appreciated for what we have and we bring to the table. 
We all want to pre appreciate for our talents and 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 what makes us unique. And you want somebody to notice that. That's one in a certain amount of but, attention. But but when the lack of attention could could change you yes. and change the way you you move, that's a bad thing. That's you know a bad I mean? thing Locks too. On you. Do you feel a failed relationship make you more insecure about yourself for the a future what? relationship? Say that. A failed relationship. A failed relationship. Makes you more insecure about yourself for the future relationship? Of, of it course. Depends. Of course yes. it do. Talk you got to understand. Quick. What yeah, if you, yeah, what if you gave your all? What if oh, you was yes. the best you? <laughs> what you? What if you was cooking, you? cleaning, pedicure? You, what, what if you was the best you? And then the person cheated. It's, 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 it's going to do something it's to like, you. Can you because better, now... Right? It's not even that. It's like, damn, like, what do I got to do? Yeah, you start questioning some other, what I got to do. Look, now you want to be hoodie mellow. Now you want to be hoodie mellow now. You know what I mean? I'm trying to be the best me. <laughs> Nobody's better than hoodie mellow. Yeah. <laughs> nah, I mean, so this shit is, hoodie mellow. This shit is, yo, that, that shit is dangerous, man. Uh, being the best you in a relationship and then having it fail can have you damaged for a, a little very bit. Long time. It, that, that, that's a very long reset. To be honest, mm-hmm. especially if you was faithful, honest, and doing the best yes. that you could do. Yes, that's, good. that's yes. a very long. What you got to talk about, guys? Yes. Me, yeah, I no. agree. I think it can because you start questioning yourself. Like, you know what I mean? Like Black said, like, what did I like? What do I have to do? Because I tried. You know I, I tried, and I gave my best, and I did everything that I could possibly do, and it didn't work out. So, is sometimes you start questioning yourself. You, you know. Not everybody blames the other person. Some people, they self-reflect and they feel guilty about it because maybe they feel like they're not doing enough. Even if they are doing their best, they may feel like they're not doing enough. So I do agree. Yes. For a long time, even after my 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 last relationship, I mean, my boyfriend left me for somebody else. <laughs> but And then I started to do the whole comparison thing between me and the girl. And in my, I started doing the numbers of like, in my head, like, I'm doing better than her. On the books in black and white, I was doing better. I looked better than her, and it was like, why didn't he chose me? Like I was, I was good to him. I was giving my, giving the best I could have given. Put us, uh, I, I was gonna say put aside cheating, but that was a reaction to him cheating on me. Um, that's a whole different issue. But like I really give genuinely to that situation, that relationship, and it still failed. And for a long time, I thought that I was unlovable. I left that relationship feeling like I wasn't. I was hard to love. Because I was being genuine for a very long time. I, my man still didn't love me and still didn't want to get to the next step. But I grew to understand, like Danny said earlier, you know, you could be a good man, but you may not be the good man for me. He wasn't the good man for me. Now I understand and in retrospect, looking back and looking back at how the situation went, I was like, you know what? I pr- probably didn't want that for the rest of my life, but I still dealt with the feeling of, not being good enough for a very fucking long time. For a very long time. Um, I'm gonna have to say no. <laughs> <laughs> Why? La? I don't self reflect. If my relationship fell and I was being the best me, I'm not gonna say could I have done better. No, it's because the person. Some people are just dumb. Some True. people fuck up a good thing. You know what I'm saying? You say some. It's a saying like you can't fuck up a ham sandwich. Some people can fuck up a ham sandwich. <laughs> If you out here being the best you, and if somebody takes advantage of you and don't appreciate you, don't self-reflect. You look at that person and say, you dummy, you fucked that shit up. Mm-hmm. You fucked the church's mm-hmm. money up. The, the plate was going around. Mm-hmm. How you let it skip you? This was mm-hmm. good pride right mm-hmm. here. Don't fuck up the church's but money, all, y'all. But, all, but also, lie, you Put you that gotta... $5 in. <laughs> I am La <lost> Success. <laughs> He really got Yo, you today, black face right black. Like, He really got you today, black. <laughs> <laughs> Yo. This is he crazy. He's straight <laughs> jacking you today, son. He's this straight is, jacking I, He made me lose Your my thought. Your favorite handsome boy. <laughs> Your favorite handsome hey, boy. Hey, hey, hey. But, 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 nah, listen. Hey. Listen, I, I, I want to say, like, also, also, you got to think, like, for some people, that's the norm. Some people, pissy elevators, roaches, rats, they, they think that's normal. Mm-hmm. So Facts. same thing with relationships. Mm-hmm. They think arguing is normal. They think That's fighting true. is normal. They think yes. getting punched is normal. Facts. They think getting choked out Facts. when he get Facts. angry is normal. They think that's normal. Preach. So Preach. at the end of the day, some people are only are, are 
are only playing the role that they've seen in other relationships. And, they and they're okay. playing it over. They think that's what they're supposed to be doing. But the church We're saying, supposed to be arguing. Man. We're supposed to be fighting. I'm supposed to scratch your that. car. Mm -hmm. I'm supposed to break your that. window. I hate You're that. bugging. I hate it. Mm -hmm. I hate You're it. bugging. I hate when people and, do that shit. Me and my fiance, we only had one time where we, like, you understand? And we, we, we argued in a mall. And uh, as soon as we got to the car, I said, yo, listen. Don't you ever, mm. ever, ever again. We don't do public. Put your foot down. We don't. We, right. yeah, nah, it's a fact. We 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 don't do public. Don't do we don't do public. It give it, it give too much opportunity mm -hmm. for opinion, for judgment, for yep. everything. So we don't do public. You understand? And at the end of the day, she she was just like, oh, I. Th not that she thought that it was okay, but possibly she probably seen it somewhere else. And thought you it was the norm. And wanted yeah. to replay that. Now we not gonna do that. You know what I'm saying? It's, so some people think it's a norm. Good. It's like it's like the whole the new trend that I fucking hate with everything inside of me about bitches proudly thinking that it's cute to be petty. Being petty is not an attractive character, but it's a trend and a norm for somebody running a place. Well, I'm petty. I don't want to do this. I'm not the one. I'm petty. I will be petty with this. Like, first of all, if you want to be in a relationship with somebody, how would you want that person to react when you do something wrong? You want them to spitefully do something for you? Because that's what being petty is. Because a lot of y'all motherfuckers misuse the word anyway. But would you want to know... They misuse petty for miserable. That's what I'm saying. Like, mm. you misuse the fucking Bars. word. Like, the thing is, why would you want to... Why would somebody want to commit to somebody who is going to try to hurt them if they do something wrong? Shit will always go wrong in your damn relationship. It's not going to be perfect. Why do you think somebody's going to want to wife you? Because you're going to be petty. I'm going to hurt somebody's feeling because it makes me feel better inside you hurt. Mm. Fix that. Go to fucking psychologist. Petty is not cute. Bad girl Tyan told you fix the Yo, shit. Fix the that, shit. That was personal just now. That, 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 that was nothing <laughs> to do with Brad Holy Water just now. Listen, <laughs> y'all. It's that time. It is that time now to show. It's the call up hour. 516-900-2278. This is the question of the call up. People call in and hear the fucking questions. Slow down, <laughs> motherfuckers. Slow down. Let it slow down. Here's the question, y'all, all right? <laughs> this is the question for the call-up. You and your fiancé go to a marriage counselor, okay? Oh, my God. You both agree this is the time we put everything on the table with no judgment and nobody can get mad before y'all get married. So the question is, clearing the air before marriage. Smart move or bad move? Do you... You start off your marriage with a clean slate or you try to go in with secrets and then they come back to bite you in the ass. I will answer first. This shit is crazy, but I say I want to start off with a clean slate. If you're willing to accept the shit I did beforehand, if you didn't know and I could tell you, and then you could just take it on the chin like, fuck it. And then we can start clean and fresh and... We six months into our marriage and a bitch can't pop up. Like, I was fucking him three years ago. And he's like, oh, he already told me that. That'd be kind of dope. I think clearing it might be good. And vice versa. She told me, yeah, I cheated on you one night. And, I, and then a nigga could tell me, yeah, I fucked your bitch. Yeah, no, nigga. Your dick wasn't even that big. So whatever. <laughs> because chicks be cheating and they be whack. And then they come back to their boyfriend. They do that all the time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but I, I'm honestly, I'm for clearing the air. Because if you put it out on the table and... You, you reveal everything. I think that shows like you're willing to you're, you're willing to really go all in by putting it out there, like telling everything you did, your faults and everything. And if they accept it and they go through with the marriage and everything, it shouldn't be no, nothing hang, like hung over your head. It shouldn't be nothing talked about. It's a clean slate. Whatever, since you, when you say I do, everything from there is what matters. Everything beforehand doesn't matter. So... The crazy shit, I think I'm for the clean slate. Like, just to get it out the way. You know? How y'all feel about it? I uh, agree. I'm definitely not for that. I'm with black. I'm that's, not for that bullshit. But I, I think I think I think that's stupid. I think that's like I think I think stupid? I think that's stupid. The clear, the, the clear I think is. that's stupid. Because okay. because you're putting a negative before a positive. That number is gonna get smaller, way before bigger in any math equation I there agree. is. I don't agree. So at the end agree. of the day, Let me my thing that. is when this: Why are you? Why are you even doing that? Why? Why? Why would you even do that? You're supposed to be in the best mindset at that time. You're supposed to be super happy. Why would you want to down someone before you get to the 
Paradise. Marriage is supposed to be paradise. Because you don't want to come in on a false belief. And a if false you want belief. a false belief, you shouldn't be getting married. That's well, not a that's false belief. Let me explain it. Let me explain it. If you, if, if you got that idea. much dirt that could that that could stop you from getting married, you you shouldn't be getting married, dog. Let me explain why it's a bad idea. Well, in my humble opinion, this is why I think. Cleaning the slate is not 100% bad. It could work for people, but it depends on the person you're with. And it could also bite you in the ass. Because the the reason why cleaning the slate can potentially hurt you is because you the one thing you cannot control is how someone de- perceives what you say and do. It's the one thing you can never control. For example, like you never know what your partner took pride in to either accept your marriage proposal or make your person go on one knee. Your partner could tell you stuff, you're a good woman, you got a good job, you take care of family, make me feel good. But you don't know what that person brags about on the inside or to their friends. They got a, Your partner feels pride in you and there are certain things they will not tell you but they have that pride. It could be my girl never had a train ran on her. My girl never fucked this person. My girl got a male birth friend. He never touched that. And he, and he took certain pride in that. That could have been the reason he got down on one knee because you, he really thought you were that, you were, you, you were that level of perfection for him. And now you was like, oh, I'm going to clear the air. And it's never going to be a question that's easy to answer. They're going to ask, they're going to, they're going to always ask you that one question about something that's bothering them. And I think anything that bothers somebody is something that you're probably insecure about. And if you answer that question, not in their favor, and that person realizes like, wait, 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 you had this best friend for so long. Y'all had a good friendship. Y'all fucked like five years ago. You, that could make that person feel so uncomfortable now. They could actually change how they feel about you. You never know what you telling somebody could, could make them feel about you, how it could make them change. So while you, while I might be like, I'm being honest, I'm putting on the table, and that's how I'm feeling, I can't control how my man feels about the things I've told him I have done. And we have friends that we, we got friends. We know the friends you can take certain places and the friends you can't. We know the friends you can tell certain things, the friends you can't. Same thing in relationships. It's not... Don't think I'm trying to be secretive here, but you, after a while, know the things you can tell your partner that you're going to be comfortable with and the things you can't. Okay. And for the sake of peace, you shut your mouth. Well, it's not if you it trying back, to... It's, I, if wait, it wait, comes wait, back, wait, if it wait, comes wait, back to hurt you, wait, 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 you wait, cross wait. that bridge when it's in front of you, but don't volunteer that shit. Okay. That's all I'm saying. We're going to get back to that after the call. We got our first caller for the night. Um, Brown Holy Water, y'all. State your name. Brown, holy water, state your name, gangster. Soma. Hey, Soma. Hey, Soma. Hey, Soma. Listen, up, I am not the damn first caller. I've been waiting a long ass time. <laughs> girl, <laughs> you keep talking shit, you're going to be waiting in a second. We're going to hang up on you. <laughs> All right, but listen, how you feel about the question? Um, Clearing the air, are you for it or against it before marriage? I am for the clean plate. Hey. Oh, hey. What hey, about? Go. Come on, tell us your answer. Come on, minute or less. Let's go. I don't know. I just I just think it's right to let people know certain things before and let them make the decision if they want to continue or just let it go. And then you have to accept the consequences after. Absolutely. But if it was a I mistake that it was so far back in your past that you were ready to move Ain't on, you passed it. But I'm saying like well, you can the truth have a clean is, plate, so I don't care. The truth is, even when you clear your... Your slate, right? If the person mm-hmm. accepts you, you'll keep doing it again. That's not that's true. Not true. That's, that's not, not true. true. That's not true. That's not true. That's not true. No. Nah, yes, that's you not will. true. Yes, you will. Thank you all real people. They know you cheated. You're a cheater, right, miss? I know that. You're a <laughs> no, cheater. no, no. Clear the air, Get baby. Off the phone. You're that's a good. Respect your man for being honest with you. Brown right, Holy Water knows good. you're a cheater, right? <laughs> can I? Can I? Can I go Someone else can call up. The phone lines are open. Danny, phone lines are open. Go ahead, Danny. I agree with you, La. I think that. If you know what I mean, you should just lay it out on the table. I feel like oh, somebody you want to no. oh, um, I feel like if you 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 be honest, you give somebody the you give somebody the option to choose what they want to do. And I like to know, like he said, like I don't want to be around somebody knowing you had sex with them, and it's like I'm the only one who's oblivious to what's going on. And the bitch could be like, yo, well yeah, I fucked him, and da da da. I'd Correct. rather be knowing because at least if I know, I see, I can, I can, I can see how things go. I don't have to react to that. I respect it. Whatever you did before me, or whatever, or if you cheated on me or something, 
Be honest with me. We could work through that. We're about to get married. I chose to marry you. So if I mm-hmm. chose to, ma- if I'm choosing to marry you, it's for better or for worse. So regardless of what you did in the past, let me know so we could work through it. Because if I find out why we're married, I'm going to flip the fuck out. But that sounds so textbook and so cute, but it's not really, it's not, it doesn't always play out like that. It not a lot of people. You, you can't gotta be know scared your partner. about what's going to play scared. out. You, you know. should know that. Listen, you, you should know, know all partner. that stuff already. But that's what I'm saying. How I'm going to receive. I might cry. I might be upset, but he knows me. It's so like, if he knows me, it's just like you can't like, be a I chick that's know. not submissive and then say you're gonna cry. That don't, that don't <laughs> go together. All right, <laughs> I'm making an example. But like, it's like all right, it's like there's some couples. Be, there's some I'll couples who do the whole. I'm gonna give a, a weird, a weird example, but this this, this, this follow me through. There are couples who agree to having stuff like threesomes, and a woman's like, "Yeah, I want to have a threesome. You can get the girl, whatever, whatever, whatever." And you, the man is thinking she's down or whatever, whatever. And then the threesome actually happened, and every single stroke he put in the other bitch, the bitch is like, "Why you fuck her longer than me? Why you stroke her longer than me? Why you this?" And then the man's like, "Wait, weren't you okay with this? Like about." Two days ago, but, but now that we don't have do, nothing to do with you. But what I'm saying is, people say they're okay with shit, but really right. fucking aren't. Look, right. if you ask right. me a That's question, a I'm gonna answer That's you. What I'm you gotta, if you ask me a question, I'm going to answer you honestly. Don't ask me a question if you don't want to know the answer, because now you have to live with that truth. If I ask a question to my boyfriend or my fiance, and I'm asking him a question, I expect him to tell me the truth. I have to be willing to accept that truth and deal with it because I wanted to know. It's not his responsibility to make me feel better about his truth when I wanted to know it. Gotcha. And I completely And Danny agree is with speaking you. hypothetically. She don't have yes. a boyfriend or a fiance. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you. I got a lot. I got a lot. Yo. I- Hold on, y'all. We got another caller, y'all. Let's take another caller. Brown Holy Water, y'all. State your name. Abby. 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 Oh, my God. It's, it's, it's Abby, Abby again. Oh, God. Oh, Abby. God. How you got so many Abby. minutes from Diana? <laughs> Yo, first of all, she's an She I'm from Trini. Whatever that bullshit is. Wow. Abby, how you feel? You want to clear the air or you want to keep secrets until you're uh, going into your marriage? Nah, I want to clear the air. I feel like omission is lying. Hey, Thank you. That's a fact. Abby. Yeah. If I put you in the position where I'm letting you say, speak your peace and say everything that's on your mind, leave it up to me how I deal with it after. Exactly. And we can work You don't hold nobody it. hostage, but man. But 10 years, shush. Abby, you right. sound Abby. like a cheater. <laughs> <laughs> well, you sound like you 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 Listen cheated right. often. I'm gonna tell you exactly what secret is. Black secret is like a little pimple, and when you don't say something, it fests into this big old wound and stink. You understand? Mm. So you better clear the ear. Mm-hmm. Abby, let me ask you a question. You, Abby, let me ask you a question air, before you go. Right? No, clear are you air. are you a loud farter or like a silent farter? <laughs> Yo, get off the phone. Get the- oh, Thank you, Abby, for calling. I appreciate you. A loud farter. Do you fart loud? Do it like that? That's how you fart? You want me to fart on you so you can see? Oh, no, no, no. Respect, yes, respect yes, yourself. Yes, yes. Bad, man, bad, bad, bad. <laughs> fool is a fool. <laughs> Disrespect yes, your family. Yes. You broke the first. Thank you for calling, Thanks Abby. for calling, Abby. Thanks for calling. I had a friend. The pasta sub. I, I had a friend. Come who, on, y'all. We taking two more callers, y'all. Let's go. I had a friend go. who did the clear Wait, the ear bullshit. First of, first of all, it's two callers in for clear the slate. Y'all the only two secretive ass nasty motherfuckers. It's not about that being secretive. It's yes, like, it is. You don't want to talk about your whole past. You scared Cause about you already know how you they're already gonna feel. Them. They should know. No. I just no. feel like I just feel like that's a bad time to release that just, information. No, no, you no, should. Right they should have known the. Rest. No, no, no. They you had a marriage it. counselor. It's a professional. You talking? This is your time to talk. This is your, 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 your I don't need a party. marriage counselor to talk to First my of wife. All, everybody goes to a I don't need a third party. You want to get married, you go to a marriage. You, you, you everybody goes to a marriage counselor before, before you get married. married. And that's so this cool. Is a but party. what I'm saying, I don't need a marriage counselor in order for me to open up to my wife and tell her things. She should know those things she already. Know you, but, she, but she, might she, ask you. Shit, she might ask you, so you're going to lie to her because you don't want well, her to I'm tell you? I'm not going to cheat, bro. What, what the fuck? Yo, I don't you even... are a very loyal and honest guy. I, can I don't that care right what anybody <laughs> says. Ignorance is <laughs> bliss. There are certain things we are honestly better off not fucking knowing. I'm not saying that I had 12 niggas running a tree, you know what I mean? It's, it's, I have that type of past. But there are still certain things that... Even though I might be okay with it, I'm okay with telling my partner it. Mm. I don't know how he's gonna react to it because I'm only he's gonna, raised differently. First of all, but I'm, you can't be wait, afraid of that. I'm only gonna be mad if you fuck four niggas. I only fuck two bitches. I'm like, damn, <laughs> 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 I'm gonna get on my nerves. I'm like, yo. how the fuck you outdo me? 
But you know what I'm saying? I'm still like, all right, fuck it. I'm going to suck it. I'm like, it's lit. But because I'm, I'm trying to marry you. I, I love you, and it is what it is. We clear in the air. You know what I'm saying? You love somebody it. flaws and all. If you're about to marry them flaws and, it, and all, so they, they have the you know, to what tell if they you, be like, knowing they could possibly lose you, that means they, they, they really you. love you and respect you. I think it I hurt more if you wait all the way to the marriage counselor exactly. and tell me you then. Always got it hurt specific. more. It's Listen, not specific. No. Black, I get what you're saying. It Cleaning hurts. a slate is okay, but you shouldn't wait before marriage. It, sh- it should yeah. be. That's the question. I you can't, you, you can't tell me everything. You can't tell me everything that day. That's, That's too saying. much. That's, That's too much, much baby. Too much. You gotta take the orange juice with the Kool Aid, baby girl. <laughs> All right. Orange juice with the Kool Aid. Another Shirt's call, yo. <laughs> Another call, yo. Brown holy water. Say your name. Jonathan. Hi, Jonathan. Jonathan. This nigga sound gay. Hi, Jonathan. Yo, did you cheat on your man? <laughs> <laughs> yo, um, clear in the air. Would you clear the air, um, or you just keep your secret going into the marriage? Clear the air. Why would you clear the air? air? Jonathan, real quick, why would you clear the air? Again. Why are you clear waiting until marriage to clear the air? I know I'm the type of person, I would rather you just lay it all out on the table and just let me decide what I'm going to do with that. Facts. Thank you. Jonathan, yeah. what Jonathan. if she told you She's just into gang bangs. Like she, she, <laughs> she, she definitely love you. But you know, once a know month, once, once a month, she just like Bro, she like she like three different cops. I would you know, know what I mean? At one time. I mean, yo, I'm what would you lie. do? That's probably going. That's probably going to be an L that I'm going. If I love you, it's an L I'm going to take. I'm going to be mad about it for a little bit. You gonna stay with her? If, 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 Jonathan, if, get your lying ass the fuck off of Brown Holy Water. <laughs> Preach, hang the fuck, hang the fuck up on Jonathan. Wait, no, no, you tell the truth, though. Go ahead, he's Jonathan. not staying. The last piece. You go. gonna stay? He's a, if, 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 if he's it, gonna if, stay. If, if, you know, if it's true, and I know I want to still marry you, even though you know it may hurt, I may be angry. I'll, you know, we gotta work it out. You're gonna be bothered, point. Jonathan. Don't tell me that you don't. You know, you're gonna be doing. That's what marriage bill. is about. Niggas, it's not mar- no. No, marriage is not about. I'm that. saying I'm no, about because working. Listen, talking to talk about working and working is two different things. Listen, time out. Work. Hold on. What you say? I'm hearing Jonathan talk. Right. It's always a person. Like, mm-hmm. I, you say, you, if, you, if you ever been involved in a train, it's always the niggas that hit, hit, and there's one nigga who eat the pussy. Jonathan might be the nigga who eat the pussy. <laughs> <in> the <train. laughs> but it's okay, because he know what's going on. Jonathan, okay. get out of that mindset. You got to know your worth in any relationship. If she get gang bang once a month, you got to get the fuck out of there, bro. What are you talking about? That's three different dudes Jonathan, every month. don't let a nigga tell you your happiness. Whatever you happy exactly. with, that is Stay that is it. that is like having good weed. Everyone trying to hit it, bro. Why would you want to smoke after everybody, bro? No, they you gotta hide this shit. After they you gotta hide this know. shit and smoke in the crib, boy. Boy, hoes all the time, like like dead ass. But why would you do it purposely? That. Why would Jonathan do it purposely? Because he fell in love. <laughs> Niggas fall in love with strippers and people like. I'm Jonathan, just saying, yo, we like, appreciate it's your call, bro. You, you love Jonathan, who you love. Thanks for calling. Don't be a weak motherfucker, all right, man. Leave that bitch. You love who you love Straight at the up. end of the day. My nigga Johnny eat the bus after the train. Yeah, he was still with he was still with Matt. I understand you guys. Crazy. Like I definitely understand where you guys are. Do you really from. take I one do. more call, y'all? I call agree, up one more but call. I, understand. I just want to say for the record, I think what we three and over clearing the air. Only you two hoes don't want to clear. I want to go in with your skeletons. Why am I a hoe? You a hoe? I'm not going there with no skeletons. I'm not going there with no. But you're assuming. Listen, you're assuming I'm keeping things to my boyfriend. I'm not. Like we. You were just clean cut in the beginning. Every girl cheats in the beginning because you still got your old nigga that you was fucking. No. That's a fact. No. No. No niggas oh. was dipping up on this shit when I had my man. I'm sorry. Niggas dipping all in that curry. <laughs> 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 all in that bad girl curry. I, ju- I, 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 just, I just feel like you should go in with like Please I don't have if you at like I said if I ask you a question I deserve I I deserve the truth and I'm asking you because I want to know it's not your responsibility nor is it my responsibility if you ask me a question and I answer you honestly it's not my responsibility for how you deal with it it's just my responsibility for being honest with you just like it's your responsibility for being honest with me now if you don't want to know something don't ask the question but that's you knowing your partner well, that's it. That's just you can, knowing your partner. Can you admit that the answers you give the One person could possibly make them change how they feel yes, about you? But you ask, I, 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 I rather be honest with you than how you feel about me afterwards. If, like I said, if you ask me yeah, a but question, at, at the end but of the other day, person is gonna the find out anyway. Is, the truth is, Febreze can't make everything smell good. 
Let's go to the corner. Like. <laughs> Listen, man, you can pour syrup on shit that will make it pancakes. <laughs> oh, my God. No, y'all not going to keep going. Like, y'all not going to keep going. Because he can't have the, the best man, bars of the, the night. The man that sleep on the floor can't, can't fall, fall, fall out of bed. bed. The man, the rebel the flows, man, so that's... goes the salmon. Fuck out of here. Tell it to the man with the one leg and bump it off down the road. <laughs> Yo, this is our last caller for the night, y'all. Brown holy water, man. State your name. <laughs> Hey y'all, it's Candace. Hi Candace, Candace, that's my sister. Hi sis. We was Candace. not looking forward to hearing from you, Candace. How no, you doing? No, no, I like Candace. Candace is cool. She good money. Well, Candace, she agreed with this you. This is what I got to say about this. Yes, so uh-huh. clear the air. You gotta clear the air and say whatever you gotta she's say married. before you actually get engaged. Amen. Because then she you let engaged, the person amen. figure out if they want to marry you. Or not. You know what I mean? You ain't gotta tell detail for detail. You don't gotta be like, yeah, you know. Then I put the panties down. You ain't gotta do all that. <laughs> Yeah. But you can be like, you know, yeah, that's a person I used to deal with. That's a person I used to talk to. Because if I was in a room and you were messing with somebody and I ain't know about it, and then somebody says something, I am flipping tables when I get that's home. But right. listen, so, like, listen, Candice, Candice, I think I think yeah. you're slightly misunderstanding, right? So the okay, way yeah. the way you're describing it, it sounds like you're just giving them your history, which is cool. You understand? Mm-hmm. But if you have dirt from your relationship with this person before oh. you get married, then what I'm saying is that you shouldn't have that dirt. Why are you getting married? You shouldn't have dirt? that dirt, but if you did, I feel you should reveal it before you get married because you don't want that shit to come back to bite you in the ass. Well. If you was the best you after that dirt. This is true. No. If you was the best true. you after no. a mistake. No. Now I got to change yes. my answer now. No. Yeah, if yeah, change that. Go ahead. Thank from you, the relationship, No way. No. Leave Candace, it alone. get the fuck off the phone. Leave it alone. Nobody <laughs> thinks about it. Thank you, Candace. Nobody talk about it. Leave, Leave it alone. No. Leave it the fuck alone. If you ask me, I'm going to answer you. Like, but why would you, you have ask, dirt? Hey, hey, why why you're you in a relationship. Hey, you said hey, yes to the ring. Yo, no, shit don't happen. You just you don't slip up and fucking bump in the dick. You can't just go bump in the dick today. First of all, yo, wait, wait, wait. Half talking. This is it, man. This is- Who the Can't fuck is Hefe? This is it. <laughs> Candace, you said Your name is Salah. This is Handsome La, a.k.a. Oh. Hefe, a.k.a. Shawn Michaels, a.k.a. Don't leave your girl around me. True <laughs> player for real. <laughs> True player for real. That's my nigga for real. real. <laughs> <laughs> now, we at the end of our show, man. It was a dope show. Uh, everybody give their shout outs. Let them know what's up, where you at, what you represent. Give another shout out. Shout out to that taco spot again, Black. We don't do that when you El Hefe, yeah. El Hefe. That mixed drinks, but get ahead, Makisha. Get ahead, do your Yo, thing. Yo, I just want to shout out. Um, this week's black business is um Untamed Cosmetics. They're a black owned brand. They sell um a lot of makeup, mostly lip wear for now. Um, special shout out to my friend uh Jasmine Taylor. She has her Thank own you. uh lip color in the line. It's called Jasmine T. It's a matte red lipstick. You can go to Untamed. We are UntamedCosmetics.com. Search for Jasmine T. Use her discount code Jasmine fifteen. You get fifteen percent off your entire purchase. So you can buy her color and others and still get fifty percent off. Jasmine T. Shout out to Jasmine. Shout out to Untamed Cosmetics. Support a black business. Danny. Shout out to all the um, people who tuned in. Um, shout out to Candace for calling in. Love you, sis. Shout out to my favorite Spaniard, Peter. I told you I'll shout you out. There's your shout out, nigga. <laughs> shout out to my friends. Shout out to everybody. That's it. Just keep tuning in. Keep listening to our fuckery. So wow. Black girl, I want to have my words of reflection <laughs> today. Yo, my success is at it. <laughs> <laughs> this nigga plagiarizing today, in front of his face. I can't. My name is, I am Handsome Lie. You know what I'm saying? A lot of success. I just want you to wake up and be on the best side of the bed. Have a positive thought and carry that thought for you for the rest of the week. You understand? You are what you put out into the world. You understand? <laughs> All right? If you think something negative, you're going to have negative in your life. Be positive. Be the best you. All right? Wow. Carry on the goals and dreams that you have. This believe in you, because I believe in you. All right? I need you to be good. I need you to be great. Not good. All right? Man, All right? I'm, I'm not even say that to man. <laughs> Shout out to Handsome Live. Handsome 15. All right? Yeah. More popular than Apple Pop. <laughs> Yo, this kid is crazy. Preach if you could, just zoom in. Um, <laughs> zoom in on black success. Focus you know what I mean? Focus, Focus on black success. So listen, first of all, I just want to say shout out to El Jefe. We went there. My homegirl Oni owns it. 
Shout uh, out to Oni. It's 1483 Fulton Avenue. You could go there, get yourself some tacos, some Mexican grill stuff, and whatever. Enjoy the great food. So, today, my final note, I want to hit y'all with this, right? So, I was just pondering, and as you've seen and I've seen, the president said that, you know, he said some funny stuff about all the NFL players, how they should be fired for taking a knee during the national anthem. And everyone, you know, was looking forward to all the black players taking a knee again. And I don't feel like that's the that's the real story that we should be focused on. I feel like the story we should really be focused on is how none of the white players took a knee. And everyone like, oh, what, what, what you mean? This shit got nothing to do with them. Oh, all right, cool. So they could talk to you about Biggie, about Tupac, about all this other shit. You understand? They could wear your fucking clothes. They could do all this shit. Probably even say nigga in the fucking locker room. But when it came to co-signing you and showing that they're against what Donald Trump was saying and what Donald Trump is trying to represent or trying to say America is, you know what I mean? Them motherfuckers left y'all motherfuckers hanging, dog. Actions speak louder than words, man. And that shit is crazy. I feel like since none of the white players took a knee, that shit speak louder than everything. And y'all got to pay attention to that part. You know what I mean? I go by the name of I Am Black Success. Brown Holy Water Podcast every Sunday, 7 o'clock. We out. We out. <laughs> we the hoodie out. <laughs> really yeah. 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 It's about that time. Hope you tuned in as we go live. Got bad gal, Tanya, Georgie, and Skyline. Black, hold it down for the guys. So get some real shit, grab a cup, catch a vibe. Every Sunday at 7, we getting you baptized. Giving out all these lessons or facts, no lies. Supporting the movement that caps on the rise. I got that brown. Holy water wherever I go. Make sure you like, share, comment, and follow. Talk, drink, share the link. Don't forget to let us know what you think. I got that brown. Holy water. Come get that brown. Holy water. We got that brown. Holy water. Come get that brown. Holy water. I got that brown. Holy water. Come get that brown. Holy water. We got that brown. Holy water. We got that brown.